It's around that time again, boys. Are brand new here for the Game King God Castle, as well as they are giving away 1,000 plus free common scroll, boys. Yes, you heard it right, 1,000 plus a knob here. This video will be breaking down and running through the patch notes for the Game King God Castle 5.1.1. And we have Dandelion, Dwarven Blacksmith. Now, I'm assuming it's like some kind of lineage descendant of the blacksmith from Great Rift, you know what I'm talking about? For those who know. No, Dandelion, um, Dandy, um, I, I don't know. Um, youngest of Black Blacksmith, Six Peaks, uh huh, uh huh. Okay, so she's North Region, Tenacity, so she's tank type. All of a sudden, you see Tenacity, you think tank. So she gathers, just look at this, okay? We're gonna be going in game and we're gonna be checking, we're gonna do a quick chapter 12 run through with this hero just to check her out. And I'm gonna be, I have not tried her out yet, boys, okay? I've only seen her kit, but we're gonna go over it right now. Now. so she gathers she like does this channel thing she does it completely channel it's kind of like Taysun not Taysun Taybeck so like she channels at the beginning and then she gets increased HP for eight seconds and then during this time there's a little quake thing right she does this earthquake those guys will get reduction of attack speed so this hero is like so she is meant to be like a frontline tank utility okay i i'm gonna call it right now you are not gonna be using this hero for freaking damage it's just it's just it's just how it is is that kind of our type of archetype you know so her awakening ability quench so upon dealing normal attack to um the people who she debuffed with her earthquake right the attack speed so essentially this is like think of like rahawk attack speed slow right so she applies that to her earthquake and it's aoe around her right and um essentially when she auto attacks she consumes that attack speed debuff and then stuns them for one second and this can only be applied for every three seconds on the same target so this is kind of interesting because and of course you know we have no freaking clue what her potential ability is because awesome peace Please, awesome peace, include the freaking potential abilities on your patch notes. Please, please, somebody, please, can, can, please, 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 awesome peace. All uh, like potential abilities. So, I'm just gonna tell you what they are, okay? So, potential level four is uh, she gets she heals percent HP back for every one that she hits with her earthquake which is pretty good because she has a built-in heal in her kit as long as she's hitting people with her earthquake now she is a 50% mana start user so it is 45 out of uh, 90 mana so she, her mana pool is pretty large to get it going um, and her level 8 potential ability is expose weakness so that juicy 30% increased damage boosting effect is built in her level 8 potential ability and it only lasts for like three seconds uh, and you have to be hit by the earthquake um so it's like this hero at first glance um I i'll say it if you if for the normal untrained eye you are gonna look at this hero you're gonna probably try to make a dps carry because you know everyone tries to make every hero a dps carry right and all because and like if they don't do well with a dps carry they just automatically suck to most people right but for me i look at this and i'm like that is a freaking meta frontline pick in any competitive mode like for real and like even even in great rift like for example she is going to be very good and very relevant you know why it's because she has literally so much utility baked into her kit so let's just look at this right so let's just go back so her ability she gets increased max hp that's pretty freaking crazy. Guess what? When I see max HP, I think of Arena. Grand buff Arena. Grand Arena buff. She's going to be used 1,000, 10,000 freaking percent. Like, this is kind of insane. So she becomes very tanky. Cool. Now, and then she 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 has, she's had, she has like a mixed bag of every, like, like some heroes that we know, right? She does this Tay Beck uh, channel earthquake thing, and it's like AoE damage is kind of weird, right? I mean, this is cool, but reducing 
attack speed is kind of crazy. This is like the Rawhawk mechanic, right? He, that's uh, a lot of the um, the reason why Rawhawk is used right now is that reduction in attack speed is very nice, right? So she has that baked into her kit, right? With her earthquake. And then on top of that, um, her awakening ability, um, who knows? Like, so quiz time for you guys who are watching. Let's test your knowledge. Who do you think this sounds like? Re when you remove a buff, or I guess not necessarily remove a buff, but when you auto attack, you stun. I'll give you guys like three seconds. Who, 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 do who does something similar? That's right, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel does it and Daniel can only do it for once uh for uh, only one time for a target she can like ultimately always do it right she doesn't have a limit so this dealing attack damage and then like oh when you deal attack damage yeah you have to consume like a debuff but then you stun them like it's that's daniel mechanic boys that is i i i will say that she ultimately for me completely replaces daniel <laughs> that daniel's like freaking f tier dude like i can't do d for daniel anymore you gotta change the freaking name like to me like she is way better than daniel i mean yeah there's mean builds that you can do with uh his second awakening and and all that jazz but like oh uh, yeah okay okay enough about daniel but um and then her level four potential ability she can she has an innate healing baked into her kit and she has exposing weakness for level eight I, I, I mean, like, I, I, she has so much utility in her freaking kit, bro. She has so much. So, I, she's going to be very relevant. Now, is she going to be your your freaking invasion farmer, OP Ian, one-shot kill? No. And, unfortunately, when a hero doesn't do that, everyone kind of thinks, like, they suck she is she's gonna be very relevant boys i'm gonna tell you right now she has so much utility baked into her kit it is insane so that is the hero so let's scroll back up so about this anniversary scroll watch my jigger so right now it is celebrating the three and a half uh anniversary event and by doing that you log in and, and doing like these like quest things and in total if you buy the uh like this like pass thing you can actually get up to 1200 ish scrolls and that's a lot of freaking scroll boys and they also updated some ui and they kind of shadow patch some stuff and if you don't buy the the little pass bundle thing right like it kind of gives you 50 percent more value or whatever you can still get like half the scrolls right it's a lot of scrolls so if you are not playing right now i would urge you to log in and grab these as it's like a daily thing so this is quite generous so make sure you do that so let's go through this oh and also in celebration whenever they do everything they always um make the previous uh past skins available and of course that's for diamonds so all of these if you're missing any of it i am I, they usually keep out like the most recent recent ones i believe but you can get like a lot of the old ones so if you are missing any of them um, be sure to get it now. And if you're wondering about any of their effects, obviously I have my skin playlist of all of the entire skins in the game with sound effects, and you can check that on my channel. Um, so let's go down here. Yeah, and they are also uh, increasing the level limit that you can unlock Great Rift and Stripe Battlefield. I imagine a lot of people are kind might be angry about this. I would argue that um, the reason why they're doing this is because they're pumping the game with so many resources. They're giving you so much freaking resources and like getting to level 30 is no, it's like it's it's freaking easy, boys. I'm telling you right now. And um, I would argue that if you are a newer player, you should not be focusing on these first. And that is primarily, like, yeah, they're fun. Okay, I, I, I'm a Great Rift player myself, all right? Like, I love Great Rift. A lot of guys are like, oh, Great Rift, min, max, that's the worst gold. I don't freaking care. It's fun, right? Like, whatever keeps me playing, I'm going to play it. Don't let the haters hate, right? Just do what you want to do. But um, I would say that jumping and playing only Great Rift early um, is going to hurt your fundamentals. 
and this uh, this kind of makes you kind of play invasion more which is has definitely gotten better over the the years um it will improve on your fundamentals and then when you do attack great rift and things like that you will um progress easier because your knowledge is better because you've been kind of working on those fundamentals by leveling up your castle level well that's at least that is how i see it so this is not too bad for me and plus to be honest like level level 30 is no it's easy boys it is easy um and then this is the limited skin a minor skin this is kind of cool uh effects probably oh she has a candle on her head i did i just noticed that she has a freaking cobalt what a Interesting, interesting. Uh, Priest Yan, uh, interesting choice. I don't know. To me, this this feels a little lazy, though. I don't know. Is that, is that just me? It feels like a lazy skin. That's just me. That's just me. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, this thing, I don't, I don't recommend doing it, but it's there if you want. And then there's a bunch of bug fixes. All right, now let's go into the game and try this new hero, boys. All right, we are in game. I just wanted to highlight the fact of some UI change. So let's look at this, this, this scroll thing. Now you have a 20 pool, boys. You have a freaking 20 pool down here. That's kind of crazy. I mean, you don't have a 20 pool. I mean, I have 117 of these bad boys. I mean, I guess I might as well have a 20 pool, but you can do. 20 pulls on it i'm curious if they're gonna keep this here because i mean i i imagine so because so many people like are hoarding gold and it is kind of bad feels bad when you're doing four pulls right i mean you could do four you know like like i want to do like a hundred pull to do it fast and you get a lot of these so it is nice to see a 20 pull and another thing that they added if you guys haven't been playing strive battlefield or not added but change they change the order of this and it bothers me so i mean i guess it doesn't but i guess this is the way that is always should have been arena should have always been above because it has been around forever and then stripe battlefield is new so it should be on the bottom so they changed it it used to be stripe battlefield on the top during beta season and they just kind of kept it and then for this patch they switched it you know they didn't mention this in the patch notes but I don't know. Does this go make sure you guys are clicking Stripe Battlefield or not Arena, and then you know going into Stripe Battlefield with your Arena team? That would be feels bad. And yes, I might have done it before. So let's try to make a team real quick. So like I did try to make it. I'm not. I've not tried out Dandelion yet. Dandy, D Dan, not Daniel, um, yet. And I just know her kit, and I've not tried it yet. So I try to cook up some. Let's, let's do some spicy like theory crafting so i was like i mean yeah she has like sp damage and all this stuff but i was like all right so when she channels she gets max hp right so what if i did like sacrifice a dagger where it's based on max hp but like what if i say on dandelion and then she gets the max hp at the beginning of round and then maybe just me i actually don't know maybe this will kick in and then her channel max hp will will be registered first and then i would get like a buttload of shield right and then on top of that if it does work then boom unity also works and I, i'm curious about the interaction i am actually freaking curious i actually don't know and i actually don't know how there's there's a freaking lot of questions so a lot of damage mitigation tankiness and we're just gonna run banner we're gonna have eight yes i said eight eight dandelions um that's probably a bad idea because she's a range one and i probably usually in this case you want to run spear um that's probably bad huh that's probably bad uh hold on hold on let me think let me think you know what screw it man and since we're running banner we're just gonna fill the screen with as many high tier dandelions as possible and hope for the best and this is what we're gonna do and if we die we die if we don't we don't and yeah i'm i'm creating a new meta boys all right let's freaking do this um boom phase 15 are we gonna die probably i have hero lock right i mean this how how you know yeah first time let's see let's see let's see let's see so we got um well i guess it's not much all right let's go hold on we gotta we gotta turn on the damage turn on the damage uh oh so since we're running unity we have to like do this right i don't know is it kicking in i have no freaking clue how does the channel work is it happening so she she's not full channeling like she um 
she has to she like she has an anims at the beginning right she has anims at the beginning and then she autos and then during this time she has max hp buff right but my question is when it runs out like does it 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 doesn't stack right that, that'd be too op if it stacks right right yeah i should econ because if i don't econ it's bad very bad and i'm running what am i running? i'm running attack speeders all right maybe maybe i should run like I don't know. Double up. So word on the street. You know what? I'm going to do this. Word on the street. Um, let's do this. Okay. So word on the street is that. Yeah, it's happening. So if you see that tier five plus, and I don't know what happens at tier seven, but tier five plus Dandelion, her earthquake changes from a 3-3 range to a 5-5, which doesn't happen to any other hero. It, do, it, doesn't, it doesn't happen, boys. It doesn't happen. So since she is... We're going to do this. Since she is... Uh, she autos a lot, so this is not bad either. I mean, uh, we, man, we would want to... Eh, you know what? You know what? Let's just do this. Um... But skill, like skill range or skill, just anything with the skills, it usually doesn't change with tier. Usually, right? Well, uh, right? Yeah. Her, like, it actually changes. It actually increases, which is not normal. It's three, three to five, five. Does anyone do that? Hold on, let me think. Maybe, maybe it does. I don't know. I can't think of anybody else from the top of my head. Like any other hero that their skill I mean, okay, never mind. I take it back. I freaking take it back. There's Evan. <laughs> There's freaking Evan. Forgot that hero existed. That's freaking Evan. Ha, ah, Evan. Why is my Daniel just sitting there? Is this bug? That's a lot of damage. That's freaking a lot of anyway. So tier five, she uh, well, um, all right, all right, all right. Let's try. This is the tech. This is the tech. Hold on. This is the tech. So twenty percent of that. What is that, man? I don't know. Like even if I found out, there's, there's unity. To, ah, there's too much math. There's too much math, bro. There's too much math. I don't know if it's working. I don't actually know if sacrifice and unity checks first. You know what I'm talking about? You guys following me? I don't know if it checks first. And I didn't I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do that right. I don't know what checks first. Honestly. Um You guys who have big brains can tell me. I don't I don't have the patience to check that. <laughs> uh, uh, do this, do this, give you that. Cool, cool. Uh, we want, uh, since we're running, uh, whatchamacallit? We're running, um, uh, we're running a uh, banner. We want at least eight units to get the max uh, reduction. She is wrecking this. Yo, this build, this build is OP. <laughs> the new meta build. What can I say? What can I say, boys? What can I say? Um, Let's do like this. Huh. I'm gonna say that my my Seirong and then having Sacrifice and Unity kick in, it doesn't work. 
I because th there's a there's a delay. This, the Seirong thing act definitely happens after. Like there's a brief delay, right? It definitely happens after. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, if we were running ten mage, now that would be interesting, right? Ten mage. You know, ten mage. Anybody? Uh. Uh. So we don't need to say it on anymore, right? Right. I mean, everything dies. Like, there's no way that Dandelion's gonna dandy. Oh, that was lucky. Um, so we have eight units, so we don't care about that. I mean, I guess we might as well just do this, right? I guess. I mean, whatever, bro. This is kind of OP. The stun? Did you see the stun? Bro. Bro. The freaking meta build. What can I say? What can I say, boys? Um. You had that. You had that. You had that. Uh. I will give you this, I guess. I will give you that. I will give you a sword. I guess we're just gonna hold on, hold on, hold on. For since we're checking out Dandelion herself, you know we gotta, we gotta. Um, sure. Um, we we have to get Dandelion, right? We 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 have to, we have to, we have to, we have to. You know, just for the just for the checking out, right? And we need another Dandelion. Well, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me do this. Give me a second. Give me a second. We got, we got to roll the, we got to roll the, the silver. We got to roll the silver. Uh All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Kind of scary. Um I mean, you know, my main one should probably be up front, right? Right. Otherwise, just pathing everywhere. That it's good that the earthquake follows her, right? Otherwise, it would be pretty bad. Pretty bad. Yeah, like <laughs> my main one is just chilling. <laughs> That's pretty funny. This is freaking funny, dude. I mean, I guess we could just do this. Lol. Huh. Not gonna lie, this is kind of fun. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I'm gonna do. I mean, I guess I'll just do this. I mean, you know. I mean, Dalen should probably be all the way up front, to be honest with you, because otherwise the pathing would just be whack. You know what? I'll do it. Hold on, I gotta get all gold. I have to, I have to. Wait, oh, yeah, I just sold. It's okay, it's okay. Doesn't matter. Come on, you meet. Tier. Come on, tier 4 Dandelion. Almost tier 4, come on. There we go, there we go. This is so funny. That's all that helped, bro. Well, there it is. Deadly chapter 12 or chapter 2, 2. Phase 15, you know, what can I say? Anyways, let me know in the comments below. What do you think about the newest hero, Dandelin? And what do you think about my new Dandelin OP better <laughs> build in the comment below? As always, thumbs if you liked it, thumbs if you loved it. And I'll see you next one, boys. Later.